glory. We call forth your great light. We say, let your great light shine forth, oh Lord, so that death will stop in the name of Jesus. Let death stop now in the name of Jesus. We rebuke the spirit of death. We come against you. We bind you. The Bible told us in the book of John chapter 10 verse 10. He said the devil came to steal, to kill and to destroy. But God has come that we may have life. Jesus came that we may have life and have it more abundantly. Therefore we stand upon the word of God and we rebuke the spirit of death. Right now we pray concerning carnal state. We steal the hand of death in carnal state now in the name of Jesus. We rebuke that spirit of death. We decree and declare using carnal state as a point of contact to all other parts of Nigeria. We decree that there shall be no more death. No more death in Lagos. No more death in Abuja. No more death all over Nigeria. No more death all over the world. We stop you spirit of death in the name of Jesus. We stop you spirit of coronavirus in the name of Jesus. We rebuke you. We know you are from the pit of hell. You didn't come from God. Therefore we have the authority to rebuke you. The Bible told us in the book of Matthew chapter 18 verse 18. He said whatever we bound on earth shall be bound in heaven. Therefore we bind you spirit of coronavirus in the name of Jesus and we rebuke you out of our land. We rebuke you out of the earth. We rebuke you out of our lives in the name of Jesus. We say steal your power in Jesus name. You are saved in the arms of Jesus. You shall not die. Your loved one shall not die. As many as are listening to me right now, I decree and declare that no more death for you in the name of Jesus. In Acts chapter 22 verse 6, the Bible said, And it came to pass that as I made my journey, I was come near unto Damascus about noon. Suddenly, there shone from heaven a great light round about me. That great light changed soil from soil to Paul. That great light changed the situation in the life of the church then, even in Israel. That great light can cause a change today in our lives. We let us pray that that kind of great light that shone upon soil, that changes life from soil to pearl, right now it will change our life. It will change our country. It will change the nations of the earth. It will change every situation that is bitter. Let us go ahead right now and pray. Brethren, pray. Pray. Say that great light that caused a change in the life of soil, that changed him from evil to good, that changed him from death, spiritual death to, to, to spiritual life. Let us go ahead now and say let that great light come upon us and change situation. Change our economy. Change our economy. Change the health situation of the world. Change the policies of the world. Change that darkness that is making people not to understand. Scientists not to know what to do. Change this right now and give them knowledge and give them wisdom. Let them know the right thing to do. Bahanda Bazanda, Epo Takahele Gaziria, Mandaga Zenga Puria, Mandega Geleke Shinka Baba Santa. We pray, O oh Lord, that that great light that changed the life of soil, that turned him from soil to Paul, right now will come upon us. It will come upon every family, everyone that is listening to us today, every family of Peace House International Christian Center, everyone that is watching us all over the world. Let that great light come upon every of one of us in the name of Jesus and let the light change our situation. Those who are hungry at home right now and don't have food to eat, let the light bring forth abundance in the name of Jesus. Let the light bring forth grace to achieve great things in the name of Jesus. Let the light cause a change even in our nation, Nigeria today. Let the light cause a change in all the nations of the world in the name of Jesus. Let the economy be revamped in the name of Jesus. Let the currencies have weight again in the name of Jesus. We speak concerning Nigeria oil. Ebo Kaliga Gazanda. They are all there at the ship in the high sea. No buyer all over the world. Father, today we cause an end to it in the name of Jesus. We cause an end to it in the name of Jesus. We ask, O oh Lord, that our oil begin to go in demand, high demand all over the world. Let the world be healed so the economy system can start again in the name of Jesus. Make Nebo Bozanda. Hey, Reke Santa, Baba Shenke, Baba Santa. For everyone that is listening to me, 
I decree and declare today that there is a change in your life. There is a change in your home. There is a change in your finances. There is a change in your economy situation. In the name of Jesus. There is a change in your health. In the name of Jesus. There is a change in your home. In the name of Jesus. Make boliga gazanda. Mande gegereke kesente lbobo hangel baba santa. In Jesus' name we are prayed. We are going to pray again. Looking at Revelation chapter 18 verse 1. The Bible says, After these things, I saw another angel come down from heaven, having great power. And the earth was lightened with his glory. Brethren, we are going to call forth angels. We are going to call forth angels that they should come down from heaven, even into our community into our homes into our nations into the whole nations of the earth let the angel of god come down ekebo santa with great power and lighten the whole earth lighten our situation lighten our country let's go ahead and pray 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 that the angels should come from heaven let the lord send forth his angels right now to come down from heaven into your home right now and lighten your home in the name of Jesus, magale bobo zanda, parika kahanda kaseri bobo leke, teke bosunda, manda gaga leke kesente, e borika kahanda bobo shenke bobo zanda, manda kaporika, lika kahanda gazede, borika gazanda la machinta, e bosuka diga legede, marika kahanga bobo zan, manda kasopo, e rika kasanta. We call forth angels, oh Lord. We call forth angels. We ask Father that to send forth your angels, send forth your angels, oh Lord to come into this nation to come into our homes to come into a different families oh lord that are listening to me right now to come into the nations of the earth let your angels come with great power let your angels come with great power the power that will stop every evil the power that will stop coronavirus the power that will stop every sickness the power that will stop every loss the power that will stop everything that does not glorify the name of god let your your angels come down with such powers. Hey, Kebo Zanda Lobo Mashanta. Ma Kebo Santa Lobo Santa. Hey, Porika Landa Gaga Zanda. Man, De Kebo Seri Gege Hende. Let your angels come down with great power. The power that will bring about healings. Healings. The power that will bring about recovery. The power that will bring about restoration. Let them come down and lighten everywhere. Lighten our lives. Lighten our nation. Lighten the world. In the name of Jesus, Marke Lebobo Santa, we thank you, Lord, because we hear us always and you answer our prayers. In Jesus' name, we are prayed with thanksgiving. Amen. Can you go ahead and begin to exalt your God? Somebody go ahead and give him praise, go ahead and give him glory, go ahead and give him honor. Lift your hands and bless him. With great joy, go ahead and bless him. Worship him, there's no like him. He alone deserves all our praises. He deserves all our worship. Somebody worship him tonight. Come on, go ahead and worship him. In Jesus mightest name we have worship and father we ask tonight that you show yourself strong that you prove yourself mighty we ask tonight that you reveal yourself as our helper and that you lord will help us out of this situation and you will have your way once again tonight if you believe god say lord amen for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. The Lord bless you. There is peace and blessings in your home. Everything is falling in place for you. And your path is dropping with great fatness. It shall be well with you. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Now, you may please have your seat. In a short while, we are going to be rising up to pray. And tonight is the night of divine intervention. The night of 
of divine intervention. I believe God that there is good news in your home. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I have a good news and another good news is also on the way. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. One of our sons in the house that I've been praying for the family for some time now, every day by faith of what God is going to do. Today, the Lord visit the family with the gift of twin. Hallelujah. Two bouncing baby boy. Praise the Lord. Now also church, as I'm telling you now, Mrs. Victor from the choir department is in labor. And she is in labor now. And we know maybe towards the end of the prayer, the God of divine intervention would have proven himself mighty. So God is adding to us. I thought you would celebrate and shout glory. Somebody, somebody shout glory. So there will be safe delivery yet again because we serve the God of again and again. Praise the Lord. It's going to be jubilation. There shall be no complication. It will be safe delivery. And the name of God shall be glorified. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. It's going to be a very quick one tonight. I want you to know that God is aware of everything that is happening. And there is nothing hidden from him. He is a good God. The Bible calls him the father of life. And the Bible says every good and perfect gift comes from him. Hallelujah. The father of life in whom there is no variableness no shadow of turn. Praise the Lord. Psalms 36 and verses 7. Psalms 36 verses 7 to 9. The Bible says, How excellent is thy loving kindness, O God. He said, Therefore, the children of men put their trust under the shadow of thy wings. I like to ask you, church, who do you trust in? Who are you trusting in? Who do you put your trust on? Amen. If your trust is in God, say, Jesus, I trust you. Come and say it louder. Say it louder. Say it louder. <clears throat> Amen. 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 Say, they shall be abundantly satisfied with the fatness of your house. This is the night of divine intervention. And God is showing up. He said, everyone that trusts in the Lord, everyone that believes in the Lord, he said, they shall be abundantly satisfied with the fatness of thy house. And thou shalt make them drink of the rivers of thy pleasure. Somebody is going to drink in abundance. Can I hear your loud amen? Somebody's going to drink in abundance. Somebody's going to drink in abundance. Now listen, people of God. The church, the world, the nations, and the continents will never remain the same after COVID-19. Now, which means there's a new chapter. It will not be about the old ways of doing things. There's just the new. And this is the night that you and I need to key in into what God is doing. The world is moving forward and a new phase of glory, a new phase of honor. And then the true knowledge of those who know God shall be made manifest. Everyone who is standing, so it's about, it's going to be about who is on the Lord's side. It's going to be about who is on the law side. If the job will be secured, if there will be security for families, if families will enjoy provision, it's going to be about who is on the law side. That's why God is speaking tonight on this night of divine intervention. He said, they, the family of Mr. and Mrs. Ajibade, the family of Raymond Tar, the family of Joseph, 
the family of Philip, the family of Raymond, the family of Femi Ojo. He said, they shall be abundantly. That is, you will not only be satisfied, you shall be abundantly satisfied. i like somebody to write it down. I shall be abundantly satisfied with the goodness of God. I shall be abundantly satisfied with the fatness of God. I shall be abundantly satisfied. When we talk about divine intervention, we're talking about God coming to help us. God coming to help us. That is, we're surrendering everything to God, saying to God, we don't know which way to go. We don't know the direction to follow. We don't know which news to receive and to believe. But the Bible says, for we shall believe the report of the Lord. And I see God releasing his very best upon you. I see God perfecting your joy. I thought you were saying it louder. Amen. I see God beautifying your life. And I see God adding color to our lives. I see the best of God being made manifest on our lives. In the name of Jesus. And now look at the striking one, which is verse 9. This one struck me. It said, for with thee is the fountain of life. The source of life is from God. And that's why this tonight is all about divine intervention. That God, I need you to intervene. My family needs food. My family needs water. My family needs shelter. My family needs clothes. I need you to intervene. And when God intervenes, he intervenes with provision. When God intervenes, he intervenes with breakthroughs. When God intervenes, he, he intervenes with unimaginable provisions, which is beyond our comprehension, that which is beyond our understanding. I see God showing up for you tonight. Can I hear a loud amen? I see God showing up for you tonight. I see God showing up for you tonight in the name of Jesus. So God, we intervene. In this month of great light. Hallelujah. Isaiah chapter 60 and verses 19. The Bible lay clearer emphasis of how God will intervene. He said, for the sun shall no more be what? Shall no more be thy light by day. Nor for brightness shall the moon give thee light. Hallelujah. He said, but the Lord that's why we need him. He said, but the law shall be unto you an everlasting light and thy God, thy glory. Somebody say, in the name of Jesus, God will step in and help me. He will step in and help the nations of the world. He will step in and help our family. Can we stand up on our feet? Can we stand up and begin to declare, Lord, I see tonight as the night of divine intervention. Only you, Lord, can satisfy the desires of your people. Only you, Lord, can help the nations of the earth. Only you, Lord, can save homes. Only you, Lord, can preserve families. Come and lift your voice. Lift your voice. Somebody lift your voice and ask God, make tonight, oh God, a night of divine intervention. Let there be no bad news. Lord, intervene. Intervene, O oh God, against this pandemic. Let there be no bad news. We reject every loss of lives. We reject every loss of lives. Jesus, intervene tonight. Is somebody praying at all? Are you praying at all? Come and declare. Open your mouth. Speak to God. Open your mouth. Let him hear you. Open your mouth and pray that God, this is the night of divine intervention. We are looking up to you. Some of the declare, Lord, I'm looking up. Lord, I'm looking up. Lord, I'm looking up. Jesus, we are looking up to you. Lord, arise, O oh God, and have mercy on the nations of the earth. This is the night of intervention. Father, this very night, let your spirit move across the nations. Let your spirit move in Europe. Let your spirit move in United Kingdom. Let your spirit move in Asia. Let your spirit move in America. Let your spirit move in, Af in Africa. Lord, we ask you tonight, make tonight, make tonight, make tonight our night of divine intervention. Arise, O God, and help us. Arise, O God, and help us. 
Arise, O God, and help us. Arise, O God, and help us. Arise, O God, and help us. Come and open your mouth. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Now, there is a striking thing <clears throat> about what this light can do. The Bible is speaking in Isaiah chapter 60 and verses 1. Isaiah chapter 60, the word of the Lord God came expressly. Hallelujah. Isaiah 60 and verses 1, the Bible says, Arise, shine. Let every family represented here tonight rise. He said the light has come. Not that the light will come. And listen carefully. When light comes, it brings an end to darkness. It, bring, it has the capacity to swallow up the coronavirus, the COVID-19 or whatsoever. It has the potency to swallow up conspiracies. So, Lord, we're going to be praying tonight. Lord, we need you to intervene. We need you to intervene. Preserve the blood of the innocent ones. Jesus, preserve the blood of the innocent ones. You are the God of divine intervention. Daddy, intervene across the nations of the heart. Across the nations of the heart. Bring an end to every conspiracy. Lord, bring an end to every conspiracy. Lord, we ask you, Lord, end this virus, end this pandemic, end this virus, end this pandemic. What is eating to man is brought before you. What is eating to us is revealed before you. We cry tonight, Lord, across the nations of the earth, across the nations of the earth, my Lord and my God, Lord, intervene. Lord, intervene, for our light has come. Let this light, O oh God, that follow every man into this world. Let your light, O oh God, that follow every man into this world. Let your light, O oh God, let it destroy. Let it destroy every agenda of evil. Let it destroy every coronavirus. Let it destroy every evil conspiracy. In the name of Jesus, let it destroy, O oh God. In Jesus, my test name, we have prayed. When God wants to intervene in humanity, he sent forth light. That's what the Bible gave us an understanding. Genesis chapter 1 and verses 1. For in the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. And the earth was without form and void. The Bible says, suddenly the spirit of the Lord overs. And immediately, God's spirit got involved. Immediately, God's spirit began to intervene. The Bible said, the very word, word God uttered was, let there be light. Hallelujah. Light is an end to voidness. Light is an end to evil occurrences. Light is an end to satanic attack. We are going to be saying, Lord, tonight by your mighty hand of intervention, Lord, preserve doctors, preserve nurses across the nations of the earth. Lord, grant every doctor divine intervention. Keep their lives, O oh God. Keep their lives, O oh God. Keep their lives, O oh God. They are in the line of duty. Every nurses across the nations of the earth. Father, we pray on this night of intervention that you will intervene as they are carrying out their duties of saving lives. We ask, oh God, that you will save their lives. I don't know if somebody's praying at all. Pray for the doctors. Pray for the nurses. Pray for social workers. Come and lift your voice. Pray. Pray for cleaners. Pray. Pray for everyone that works in clinic. Everyone that works in the hospital. Lord, we pray. Lord, in this night of divine intervention, as the put their life in line of duty. We ask, oh God, that you keep them, Lord. We ask, oh God, that you keep them, Lord. We ask, oh God, that you keep them, Lord. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Isaiah 16, verse 2. The Bible says, For behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness shall cover the people. He said, But the Lord, I love this part. He said, but the Lord shall rise upon thee. In other words, there is an exception for the righteous. We are going to be praying, Lord, across the nations of the heart, save every righteous man. Everyone that names the name of Christ. Everyone that named the name of Christ. Everyone that is connected to Christ. Lord, save their souls, Lord. Save their souls. Save their souls. Every son and child of light, save their souls. Save their souls, oh God. In Jesus' 
mightest name we have prayed. Now the Bible gave us an understanding. It said, they that dwell in darkness have seen a great light. Which means for the sake of one righteous man, God can save everyone. He can save the unbelievers. He can save the Buddha. He can save the Hindu. We are going to be praying law for the sake of a righteous man. Because it is impossible not to locate one righteous man in the whole earth. Law for the sake of the righteous. Save the world. Somebody lift your voice, Law. For the sake of the righteous, the song says, he got the whole world in his hands. We are going to ask you, Law. We are asking you tonight for the sake of the righteous. Save the world. Lord, save humanity. Save humanity. You have sworn that you will not destroy man. You have sworn that your anger will not destroy man. Lord, we ask you tonight. Jesus, we ask you tonight for the sake of the righteous. Save humanity. Lord, save humanity. Lord, save humanity. Help us end this, O oh God. Help us end this, O oh God. Put an end to it. Help us end this in Jesus' name. Mightest name we have prayed. You see, every time I hear the cry of newborn babies, I have hope. Hope that God is still interested in humanity. Hallelujah. He has business. If not, he will not allow newborn baby that knew no sin to come into the wicked world. If the world is just going to end like that. <clears throat> so God is in the business of doing great things. Hallelujah. And that's why I know that because we have heard the cry of newborn babies today, God will stand up and save the world. Somebody say, be louder that my home is saved and my family is saved. So I will not be discouraged and I will not be frustrated. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Now, there's a scripture I want us to see clearly. The word of the Lord God came expressly, praise the Lord. You know, the psalm is speaking. He said, give me understanding and what happened and I shall live. Hallelujah. John chapter 12. John 12 and verse 36. John 12 and verse 36. The Bible came expressly. He said, why ye have the light? Now that we know that you have the light. He said, believe in the light that ye may be the children of light. I love that. Why ye have the light. Why they you have the light? Why Chidima have the light? Why Genevieve have the light? Why Murayo have the light? Amen. You say, let I believe also in the light that ye may become the children of light. So in God's plan and agenda, he wants you to be so formidable that darkness cannot come near you. That darkness cannot survive near you. He said, why ye <coughs> have the light? Why you have what can swallow up darkness inside of you? Why you have what can swallow up pandemic? He said, believe that there is a divine intervention going on. That the one who resides inside of you has a greater plan beyond what you're thinking. He has a greater plan beyond what you can see. Amen. He said, believe also in the light that you have. Can somebody say, Lord, I believe that I carry this light. Say with me, Lord, I believe I carry this light. I believe that I am the children of light. I believe that I am the children of light. I believe I have the light. Say it louder. I believe I have the light. Amen. Amen. Now, it is what you carry that determines what can <clears throat> survive inside you. If you carry great light, then darkness cannot survive inside you. If you carry health, the sickness cannot survive inside you. Are you following what I'm saying? If you carry breakthrough, poverty cannot survive around you. So, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth what? The mouth speaks. And that's why I'd like you to declare again, I have the light with me. I have the light with me. And I believe in the light. I am also the child of the light. I'm also the child of the light. I believe the light is in me. I believe the light is in me. If you believe, say I believe. 
If you believe, say, I believe. Therefore, say, Father, by your light that is at work on my life, I stand in gap for my family. I stand in gap for my asshole. For my sake, oh God, let everyone in my family be saved. Come and lift your voice. Lord, for my sake, I stand in gap tonight for my family. For my sake, as the child of light. For my sake, as the one who is in custody of the light. For my sake, as the one who has the light, I speak tonight. Let my family be exempted from evil. Let my family be exempted from evil. Let my family be exempted from evil because of your light that is at work on my life. Let my family be saved. Let my family be secure. Let my family be saved. Let my family be secure. Let my family be saved. Let my family be secured. Let my family be saved. Let my family be secured. To the glory and honor of Jesus, save my family. Lord, because of your light at work on me, save my family, save my home. Because of your light that I carry, because of your light that is fully at work on me, save my family. This is my cry. Save my family, Lord. Lesuta bege meloto. Mary predia masata. Jefrada ke lo so pradu balia. Illu sapade ke de ke de ke de me kaosati. Lord, for the sake of the light. Lesuta bagia melo so pradaya. In Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. The Bible gave account concerning what is at work in you, which is this light. He said, this light shines in darkness. And darkness comprehend not. That is, even at your appearance, coronavirus will disappear. That's what the Bible says. He said, this light appear and darkness disappear. Praise the Lord. In Matthew chapter 5 verse 16, which I love, one of the scriptures I love so much. Hallelujah. The Bible says, hallelujah. He said, let your light so shine. That is, you've got the light, but you determine the brightness. You are the one who what? Who determine the brightness. He said, let your light so shine before men. He said that they may see, hallelujah, your good works. And my lay producer, they may see the extent of the illumination. How far you go in life is as a result of what you know and discover about yourself. How far you go in life is as a result of what you can say, what you can declare out of the abundance of what you know. I'd like you to say, I know and I have an understanding that the light of God is at work on my life. And therefore, by this light tonight, my home is saved. My family is secure. Come on, pray. Come on, pray. Somebody pray wherever you are. By this light, oh God, that is at work in me. Thy word were found and I did eat them. It became the rejoicing of my heart. By this light tonight, my home is saved. My assignment is saved. The work of my end is saved. My family is saved. My parents are saved. My siblings saved. My in-laws saved. The touch of God is saved. In the name of Jesus. Mm. Somebody tell me I'm shining. I'm shining. Say me I'm shining. I'm shining. Say my family, I'm sh my family is shining. Say my family is shining. You know what? In the agenda of God, there's not supposed to be bad news in the camp of the righteous. Amen. He said, Come on, stand up. I've given you the light, but how bright it will be is in your head. Mm. Now, the truth is, if my bulb is not working, it doesn't matter how much I press the switch it, would, it will never bring any light. Hallelujah. But the truth is the PHCN has done their best to connect, make sure there is light in my house. I can see light in my neighbor's house. So all I need to do is one, press on the switch and if I press on the switch the bulb is not working. What happens? I changed it. And there are some bulbs you put, they become so dull. Some are red. Some are blue. And they cannot brighten the whole atmosphere. And then you decide, okay, I need an allergen. And then you put it on. He said, he said, he said let it just shine. That is, re let your light reflect goodness. Let your flight reflect the glory of God. He said, so that they will see your good works. Which means it is your duty to switch it on. Somebody told me, I put it on my light. I put on my light and I decree and declare that in this present situation, good news is coming my way. 
I will be signing good deeds. Breakthrough will come my way. None of my family members will be stranded. Come and open your mouth and declare, I put on my light. I put on my light by the authority of the name Jesus. I put on my light. I put on my light. That light will shine on my children. I put it on. It will shine on my wife. I put it on. It will shine on my family. Come and open your mouth and declare. This light is shining on my parents. I put it on. By the authority of the living God. It will shine and shine and shine brighter. It will shine brighter to the glory and honor of Jesus. I put it on. I put it on. I put it on by the help of the Holy Ghost. I put it on. I put it on. And I put it on. I put it on. I put it on. In Jesus mighty name we are prayed. You know you need to put it on. Isaiah chapter 60 and verse 3 was speaking. It says, and the Gentiles shall come to thy light. Those who dwell in darkness, those who don't have solution, will come to the one who has put on his light. Everyone who is putting on their light are the one in custody of solutions of men. The solutions of men are with them. I'd like you to declare, Lord, in this present situation, make me a solution. In this present situation, make me a solution. Make me a problem solver. Come and lift up your voice. Lord, make me a solution. Make me a problem solver. Make me a solution. Make me a problem solver. Lisati ya pake mekelo. Improdo fatsata bredia. Merus kopolusa patiene. Ikadanda parade kedos. I want to be a God. A solution to the world, a solution to the church, a solution to families, a solution to humanity. I want to be your girl. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. He said, the Gentiles shall come to thy light. He said, and kings to the brightness of thy rising. I love that. In other words, God had already concluded that you must rise. That's why he said, he said kings will come to the brightness of your rising. He had concluded that your children must rise. He has concluded that every marriage must rise. So there is hope for your family. There is hope. There is hope. There's a new chapter opening. Can you just celebrate this? <coughs> Can you just celebrate this? Come on, celebrate this. Lord, I thank you. I thank you. You planted from the foundation of the earth. You plan it from the foundation of the earth that my light will shine. You say kings will come to the brightness of my rising. Thank you, Jesus. There's just a new chapter of glory. There's a new chapter of honor. There's a new chapter of fulfillment. Can you celebrate it? Come on, somebody celebrate. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, celebrate your brightness. Celebrate your rising. Celebrate your brightness. Celebrate your rising. This cannot pull you down. It cannot stand against the uncommon exploit that God has promised you and I. It cannot stand against the uncommon exploit that the Lord has promised you and I. Come on, lift your voice. Come on, lift your voice and celebrate this victory. I thank you, Jesus, for many of the affliction of the righteous, but the Lord delivered them from it all. I thank you, Lord. I thank you because I can see light from the tunnel. I can see your mighty hand. I can see the victory. The, come on, open your mouth right now. Uh, come on, open your mouth and begin to declare what you can see. Open your mouth and begin to declare. Celebrate this joy. Celebrate this atmosphere. There is an intervention. God has intervened that your light will not go dim. God has intervened that your light will not be caged. Your glory will not be buried. He has intervened that everything must speak. Come on, celebrate him. I celebrate you, Jesus. I celebrate you, Jesus, for your intervention that has caused my light to shine brighter. Kings are now coming to me. Kings are now coming to me. I thank you, Lord, for making me the solution that the world is looking for. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. And I thank you. My heart, my soul, and my spirit, everything in me, bless you, Lord. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mightiest name, 
we have prayed Amen. and kings shall come to the brightness of thy rising yes, order. If you will not stand up to rise, no acknowledgement of good news. Kings shall come to the brightness of your rising. Now, your brightness is as a measure of your rising. What are you rising up to? Some rise up to bad news, to carrying evil news. You must rise up to saying something positive. You must rise up to declaring the glory. Now, I'm not going to give you a prayer point now. But I'm going to release you in the next two minutes. 120 seconds. As you're rising up with only anger. Declaring what you want. You say you must rise up. You must rise up. You must rise up. Hear the word of the Lord, young lady. Young man, hear the word of the Lord. This is not your end. This is the beginning of God's greatness on your life. Rise up and declare what you can see. There's a future on your children if you have one. There's a future in your marriage. There's a blessing in your marriage. You are not ending for the ditch. This is not your end. This is just the beginning of the fulfillment of prophecy in your life. This is just the beginning of God's goodness and faithfulness in your life. Everything God promised you is coming to pass. I tell you and I believe it. 2020, we still deliver that which God has spoken. That we say, I am not a man that I will lie. Not the son of man that I will repent. If I have said it, I'm able to perform it. I'm committed to it. God's word is God's honor. I'd like you to declare, I stand on the authority of the living God. Everything, Lord, you have told me. I I see it coming to pass. I see fulfillment. I see success. I see the advancement. I see the work yielding great result. Unimaginable exploit. You told me it shall be a year of uncommon exploit. Mesuta begi malo produya pasata. Ye fradeke lo. Ye tu so prediya. Man bege melo so prediya kafada di hindu. Kusuta lindebe. Lisotu brati yama sate krebro odo batata. A thousand shall fall by my right, ten thousand on the other side. It shall not come near me. My yam redu so predi kapaande. My children is preserved. My house all safe and secure. My heart celebrates you. Me soto brediya. Letu basadi angabosa. I give you praise. In Jesus, my test name, we have prayed. Now, I want to pray for you right now. Put a right hand on your chest. Father, in the name of Jesus, everyone listening to me. Tonight, we have seen it and declared it as the night of divine intervention. Lord, please intervene. Save everyone listening now. Everywhere where this message will reach, every nation across the heart, I ask, Lord, that you will save everyone listening now. Hear the word of the Lord. You will not lose your life. To this pandemic, this diseases and infirmity, you will not lose your life. Amen. At the end of it all, we will count and find out that there was no loss. Amen. Everyone shall be preserved. Amen. Everyone shall be kept. Amen. I decree right now, God will give you supernatural provisions. Amen. Hunger will not kill you. Amen. God will send helpers to you. Amen. God will send men your way. Amen. God will send you helpers. Amen. God will send men your way. God will send you helpers. God will send men your way. God will send you helpers. God will send men your way. God will send you helpers. God will send men your way. I speak by the authority of God. Things will work in your home. If you can say loud amen, things will work in your home. That credit you have been expecting, God will credit you. He will send men to put things in place for you. Things will work for you. In the name of God the Father, Amen. and of the Son, Amen. and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Once again, I want us tonight to speak a word to the family of Mr. and Mrs. Victor Robinson. And that God will make tonight a night of good news for them. Amen. He's the God of again and again. Hallelujah. Amen. He's the one who did the twin. Hallelujah. In later hour of the day the earlier hour of the day, and he's still going to do this again. Praise the Lord. So let's lift up our voice and pray for them. Father, we commit extra to you, Lord. Give us strength. Give us strength. There shall be no complication. 
There shall be no complication. There shall be no complication. Safe delivery. The baby shall be alive. The mother shall be alive. It shall be good news all the way. And next week, Tuesday, we will gather lifting our holy hands as we pronounce the baby blessed. To the glory and honor of your name, we stand on this exalted altar and we pronounce safe delivery. Thank you, Lord. It is done. We give you praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Can you, can you just please celebrate God with a clap offering? Come on, clap, 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 clap. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. The Lord bless you Amen. and perfect your joy. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Spiritual consciousness is the key. And like every one of us online now, package your offering. You must learn every time you're coming before the screen. You know what your offerings are, and then you can make use of the transfer platform, which is displayed on the account that is on the screen. Package your offering, and if you've done that, begin to speak to your offering. Speak over it. Declare that your offering is blessed. Father, we pronounce this offering blessed. You must have it in your heart, not to appear before the Lord empty-handed. Hallelujah. We declare this offering blessed. We declare that God will put his hand on our offering. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Our offering is blessed in Jesus' name. Our offering is blessed in Jesus' name. God bless you. I'd like you to listen to this instruction. Praise the Lord. We are in the last day and consciousness, spiritual consciousness, is of great necessity. Hallelujah. I'd like to speak to members of the church. It will be a sin and crime for you that you are home and service starts 8 a.m. I want to believe that if you are truly spiritually conscious, by 7.30 you should have gotten yourself dressed, properly dressed as if like the way you go to church and sit in front of whatever media platform that you are using to listen to the service. That's the way you can get the best of God. Don't just lie on the bed waiting for the online service. Stand up, dress up properly. It's a sin and arrogant before God that when you see church members coming to join online service by 9, 9.30, it shows how foolish man it can be in the sight of the almighty God. Hallelujah. Please be spiritually conscious. The time for Sunday service is 8 a.m. And I repeat once again, 8 a.m. Every Tuesday is 6 p.m. Hallelujah. But God will bless you and I. As we remain faithful, God will bless you and I. Hallelujah. And every time you come online to join the service, please click the share button so that it can bless someone else. Hallelujah. We're here just to make sure you're being encouraged, you're being blessed, to bring you the mind of God and the agenda of God. And I trust the God of heaven will bless you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We convert your prayers. To always have the strength to always come here like this, to keep doing all of this. And may God also bless Reverend Mrs. Ajibade for being faithful and committed all through this process in Jesus' name. I thought somebody online is saying a loud amen. amen. Come and say loud amen. amen. Now the truth is, I miss every one of you. I miss the church. And I know in a short while, God will help us to stay off that atmosphere of worship again. The Lord bless you. I miss you guys. God bless you. Hallelujah. Please be confident of this one thing. That God is faithful. And he will not destroy you and I. Hallelujah. He will keep us safe. And he will preserve our home. You are blessed. Hallelujah. You are in need. Please get in touch with your pastor. God bless you. We care. And we want to be there for you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Why don't you lift your hands and give him thanks for what he has done today. Bless him. Return all the glory to him. Come on, give him all the glory. We thank you for everything you've done, for the good news, and for what you were here to. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And thank you for all that you've done. Take all the glory, take all the honor, and take all adoration. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Praise the Lord. May God bless you and keep you. May the Lord keep you and preserve you. May he put his hand upon you. And may his blessing rest with you. In Jesus' name. 
Hallelujah. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with you and I now and forevermore. Amen. 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 Peace out. Peace out. And peace out. Can we share the goodness and fellowship? Surely, God's goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. God bless you.